This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Opal Dunbar Adams with me and your father-in-law, Brian Adams. Thanks for joining us here on FYI. Well, thank you very thank much. Thank you. We're Excellent. delighted to be here. Excellent. We're going to talk about a, a new initiative in town. It's going to start actually this week, but it's going to go through till October called the Farmer's Market at the Falls. Maybe, Opal, can you talk a little bit about what that is? Well, we've... Uh... We've been granted the opportunity to start up a farmer's market here in Smith Falls, which is absolutely exciting. And uh, we've tied it in with the Artisan Village. So it's going to be a great place where people can come and join Friday evenings, which is different than the most um, farmer's markets. Um, and then when the Artisan Village takes place, we'll be able to see the artisans inside and, and uh, have some goodies outside too. So are you connected with the Artisan Village as well, or is this you're working together? Yes, yeah. it is. It's all it's all part of it's all part of our business here in town, and part of the the cultural change that we're trying to make to this part of town as well. We've been really well accepted by uh, by the town and all the people that that work for and, and with the town as well. So so the Artisan Market uh, is ten artist studios, which are for lease for artists. And at the same time, we wanted to do something else for maybe the more general public. And so that's why when we were offered, as Opal said, the opportunity to take on the farmer's market, which I understand hasn't been here for 10 years. So we're delighted to be able to tie that in to the cultural experience here. Excellent, excellent. Now you, you've got enough space for 30 vendors, is that correct? We do, we do, yeah. We have space around the front of a building, which is grass. And then we have a, a quite sufficient parking lot as well. So we have room for, for 30. And you're, you're situated at 10 Maple Street here in Smith Falls. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now we'll It's right at the corner of William, William Street West and Maple Avenue North. Excellent, excellent. Now what kind of uh, vendors are you looking for? Oh, so, so far we have like the um, people who have applied and who are going to be joining us, it's, it's amazing the the food and the vendors that we've got it's um like my, my mouth is watering thinking about it when i get these applications in so we have honey we have uh, cider uh fresh eggs um oh bakery um somebody who's doing um artisanal pancakes we have an artisanal uh, pizza maker um artisans it's like delicious we also have some artisans as well but we really want this to be a, a farm product market. So we're concentrating on saving as many of the 30 spots as we possibly can so that it's a really true farmer's market. Mm -hmm. And it could be fresh yeah. products. We also have uh, music. Yes. Yes, yeah. absolutely yeah. focusing on fresh product, produce, milk, eggs, the, 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 real, the real farm produced products. Everything is produced by the people themselves that will be there by selling their wares. And it's, it's local too. Yeah. We also have a local musician. Um, oh, oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. We've actually restricted how far people can be away from our market because we've been able to be safe for people. Excellent. And uh, Opal was starting to say that we have a, a musician who's going to be playing as well. His name is Joel from Dirt uh, Trump. And so, um, you know, farmers markets, they need to be fun. And that's and that's what we're doing here. So it's an event. Now that's why we want people to come out to us. And it's three to, to seven thirty every Friday from now until October thirteenth. Mm -hmm. And it's really interesting. You're having it on a Friday night, which is really good too, because it, you know the downtown when I was younger was you know Friday night. Everybody went downtown on Friday night. So you're just a block from the main street. So we're, we're trying to drag them back in, Kathy. Yeah. <laughs> there's there's a reason we did that too. There's a lot of far. The farmer markets in this particular area have been really helpful to us and really kind and considerate to help us get up and running. And most of them run on a Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon, and some, like in Kempville, run on a Sunday. So we didn't want to conflict with them. And then we also looked at the pattern flow for our vendors, and the big pattern flow, as you pointed out, is Friday night in the fall. And especially during the summertime, a lot of people will come to their trailers and their cottages and the Reno Lakes system. They'll stop here on Friday, get what they need and head on. And it's pretty hard to drag them back to their cottages once they've gone. Yeah. So 
But you know what? This isn't just for, for visitors. This is for the town. Absolutely, well. absolutely. So and it's going to begin on absolutely. June 2nd? That's right. Yeah, this, this Friday. That is it. And you're going to go all the way to October 13th. And you know what's interesting about that, too, is you get so many different seasons of, of different vegetables and produce and everything as you go as well. That's right. And we're going to, you're going to see the evolution of the season. And I've already had people who have, uh, you know, let me know that they're going to be bringing in different foods at that time because that's what's in pro, that's what's in season, and that's what they can produce. So, it, it'll be an evolving market. There'll always be something new. And also the way that we've set up the market, it's really inclusive. So people can do occasional um, setups. And if, you, if you're a farm producer and your, your produce hasn't you know, come up yet, of course, you can come and join us at a later time. Now that's a great way too. That's an excellent so way one, to do one, it too. Yeah. So how do people yeah. register? Kathy, how one do... of the things we're looking, we're always looking for yeah, we're always looking for great vendors. Yes. So that's uh, that Oak will tell you how to, how to register for vendors as well. Yeah. So, so if you go to our website, which is the Falls Market, um, all of the information is on there, and that way they can check out the application form, look at the operations, uh, all those lovely documents, and that's pretty much how you do it. Just go to the FallsMarket.ca. And really, what was it you said? The evolution of. I, just, I don't remember. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You've got five months of five months of, of different produce going through a, 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 yeah. a, somebody's farmer's field or somebody's backyard. Exactly. I, I think exactly. I think that's what Opal was talking about the evolution because oh, yes, when, yeah. When when you look at, uh, at at a farm, it's not stagnant. So what what is in season in now? It's the beginning of the season. It's very very different than late September when you get squashes and pumpkins and things like that. And then some people will bring in Christmas uh, things as well late in the season. So every time you come, we want it to be a, a new experience for yeah. you. So there's there will be different uh, some different vendors, but the other vendors who are long-term here will have different products to offer you. Yeah, Excellent. and if you look at our Facebook page too, uh, which is um, the Farmer's Market at the Falls, It'll show a list of the vendors that we have. So that'll be continuously updated so you can see which vendors are there. Um, but, and also on our website, but Facebook will probably have the, the latest news. Excellent, excellent. Oh, I look forward and to this. And also, when you talk about evolving, um, we're looking forward to doing also a Christmas market. So that'll be pretty neat too. Wow, that's, to I look forward to that, that one too. <laughs> This well, is we great. certainly hope you're going to visit us. Oh, absolutely. You'll see me there for sure, for sure. And it, it starts on June 2nd. It goes all the way to October 13th. And uh, I, this is just a, a wonderful uh, event that's going to be happening uh, just a block behind our main street on Maple Street, 10 Maple Street. So uh, for more information, you got Facebook page. And uh, how else do they get a hold of you? The fallsmarket.ca. That's right. That's, that's right. the best. And if you do come down here, you'll see the big green building on the corner. That's where we are. Excellent, excellent. Well, we look forward to it. We're going to have to have you back again real soon, and we'll talk more about uh, about the farmer's market at the falls. We'd love excellent. to join you again and tell you how we're making it. Oh, I'd love to hear about it. Thanks for joining Great. us, and thanks, thanks for doing this. Thanks for making our Thank time Thank you better. very much for having us. Thanks for taking the time. We look forward to seeing you soon.